Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinite Division platform. Right now I'll be doing one such question that came in your NEET examination. This question came on NEET 2021, so let us see this question first. Question says, uh, the electron concentration in an N-type semiconductor is the same as the whole concentration in the P-type semiconductor. Obviously, you have been given an N-type semiconductor, so that means it is it must be having electrons because N-type semiconductor have more number of electrons and which is free to uh, which is free to move and in order to produce electricity and p-type semiconductor must be having equal number of holes okay holes are uh, uh, holes are considered to be a positive ch uh, uh, positive charge and electron having negative charge okay now so that means it has having majority charge carrier is holes over here which is positive here and the majority charge carrier is electron which is negative charge now it says an electric field is applied across each of them that means suppose this this is the electric field which have been applied across each of them and it is con uh, it is uniform electric field let it be so to compare the current in them obviously the current in them only depends upon the mobility of these free charge carriers okay and the mobility of the electron is much much greater than the mobility of holes so that means it is easier to move electron in n type as compared to holes in p type so that means the current in n type should also be greater than the current in p type so which option is correct so that means the current in the n type must be greater than the current in p types only because the mobility of electron is much 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 greater than the mobility of holes present in p type semiconductor okay such type of question is quite easier to solve and it won't require a much of your uh, it it much of your uh, calculation part because this is just an un understanding part okay and once you know the concept you can would you would easily be able to solve this such type of questions quite easily and it takes and uh, it saves your time also once you know the concept you can easily do the questions very easily okay so i hope this question is clear to everyone thank you